You ever been driving on the freeway and you just blow right past your exit because you're on autopilot? You're headed somewhere else. Unfortunately, that happens all too often in business as well. We're doing something so automatically that we forget a critical step or we just blow past a decision we should have made otherwise. I'm gonna give you a system that you can not only use to make your own autopiloting a lot more successful, but also get other people within your company in the position where they can do things consistently and effectively and automatically as well. I'm Leo Manziel and this is Building Businesses. Let's jump in. When we're doing anything, the sequence is critically important, as are the critical steps. How weird would it be if we invoiced our clients before they even agreed to work with us? That's the wrong sequence. How uncomfortable and frustrating would it be if we never invoiced our clients so we never formally engaged? That's forgetting a critical step. A checklist, which is a process I know you're familiar with, is a critical way, an easy way, to make sure that you do both. So I'm gonna teach you, as will the blog post and the book that I'm going to recommend, a simple process that you can put in place right away with two different flavors for two very different reasons. So let's jump in. There are two situations here. One is somebody that is doing something that they've done countless times before. That is what's called a do confirm checklist. That's where you have a simple list of the key items that need to be done that really confirm that, you know what, this was done right. There's a do confirm checklist that I'm sure you're all very familiar with anytime you leave the house, which is, do I have my wallet, phone, keys? That's a do confirm checklist. And that prevents us from, like I said earlier, missing that off ramp when we're just so in the zone that it's easy to forget certain critical components of the process we're doing. The second is called a read-do checklist. This is a checklist where item by item you read it and then you do it. This is great for delegation and making sure that people know what they're doing as they take up tasks off your plate. And often, a do-confirm checklist can become a read-do checklist. But check out the book. And the book is called The Checklist Manifesto. It's by Atul Gawande, who's a surgeon. And I like to boil it down into this simple sentence. If pilots and people in the medical profession use checklists, so should we. And this is really the, the beauty of a checklist, and it should be simple. A checklist, by his teaching and by my recommendation, should be five to nine items at most. Shouldn't be something unbelievably complicated. And when you do that, it becomes something that can easily be put into place. And I want to be clear, some checklists are unbelievably complicated, but they're often made up of a lot of smaller checklists that then contribute to that overall bigger thing. But what I'm getting at is you don't want it to be too complex because then it's difficult to put into place. And the worst thing that can happen when somebody should be using a checklist, yourself included, is if it feels like too much work to use it that we just abandon it and then it's effectively useless. So keep it short. And then once it's short, it can be put into place and then iterated from there. If you think about the medical profession over so many thousands of years, there are procedures that were put into place added to standard checklists that then made everybody better off. Pasteurization is a process I'm sure you've all heard of. Louis Pasteur, when he came up with germ theory, that there are these microorganisms that can harm us, made it, once it was standardized, so that medical procedures sterilized the tools, hands, places where these procedures were done, and that saved countless lives. So. If you're looking to create a checklist, check out this book. If you want help with that hands-on, check out the description. I and my team are here to help. We can help you iterate an existing checklist if you're trying to make it better, faster, stronger. And if you're trying to figure out what is that pasteurization-like process, something that I can incorporate into my business to make it so much better, faster, easier, that's my job. And that's what a diagnostic helps do. So if you want help or if you want more resources, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're here to help. I'm glad you're here.